Hello, Pete Daigle here. Today I want to show you this Concert Grand built in 1894-1896, right in that era. It's an auto harp that was meant to be played on the table. It's huge and it has a lot of capabilities. I just want to show you a few things about it, what worked, and possibly why it did not catch on. Now the Concert Grand had just six actual chord bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, each one, for instance, this is a, this is a uh, G right here. Uh, it plays in, uh, plays a nice G. You, you press this button along with it. Now it's a G7. You press this button. Now it's a G minor. And press both together you have a G minor 7. So, one button, two, three, four. Four different chords. Now besides that, this chord bar slides back and forth. So in this position, instead of playing a G, it's now playing an F sharp. This position, whoops, that position it's playing a uh, G sharp. So you have four different chords made with one bar and three different positions that makes 12 full chords with one bar. 12 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 60 chords made with these five bars. Now this bar here is the uh, diminished 7 bar with three positions. Now the diminished seven bar will play all the diminished sevens. Uh, it's actually only three, but since each diminished seven has four names, they considered that this would play 12 chords as well. So in advertising, uh, you had one instrument playing 72 chords with uh, six chord bars. Um, you'll see by the wear here that most of the strumming was kind of in the center. I believe that's probably, uh, there's probably a practical reason for that because these bars are so big that it's very difficult to damp everything unless you're really pressing down hard with both hands. Now, I, I, from what I understand, they were played that way quite a bit, uh, pressing with, uh, with uh, two hands. But if I'm pressing here, I can damp everything up here, but down here, it's not damped well. I've got to switch positions to damp well down here. So it was played, as you can see, mostly in this area. Uh, however, I'm sure they did reach down for those bass notes, but when they did, they had to make sure they had enough room to damp. Now, it could be pretty cumbersome trying to shift these keys in the middle of a song, too. However, you could preset them. For instance, uh, what we have here is we have F, C, G, D, and A in the center position. And if you want to play an F, well, you've got the F, and you've got the G, uh, the C. Now, for uh, the B-flat, you simply take the A, move it up one position, and do that before the song starts. And you've got it all set. So there, you can shift these around and make them uh, get them set up before you start the song. You can do some shifting in the middle, too, but they're, they're a little bit shaky, and you have to have them right on. Uh, otherwise, they don't give you the, the proper chord. So that, you know, because of the complications of it, I believe that's probably why uh, they didn't really catch on. Although uh, I understand this is number 30. This has a number 30 on it. So there were probably at least 30 some made. And uh, we know now of about six that it still exist. We've rebuilt three of them here in our shop. Anyway, this is the Concert Grand by Zimmerman Auto Harps, and uh, this one is a, about to be packed up and it's, uh, shipped off to its rightful owners. Uh, thank you much.